Hi you guys, it's Jennifer Elise with Equality TV and you are watching Yes You Can, the Saturday show that inspires you to make a difference in your little corner of the world. Now last week I asked you to do seven things, one thing a day, seven things to make a difference. Something selfless, something spontaneous, and I heard some incredible stories about how people responded and most importantly, not most importantly, but equally as important, how it made you feel. And I started hearing people recognize that it was just one small thing. They didn't miss the money or it felt so good to reach out to a stranger. And that's the epitome of this entire concept of yes, you can. The idea is sufficiency. We have enough. There's enough for everybody. And that's what I really want to focus on this week because, you know, so many times we get caught up in lack and scarcity. And this is really not even so much about abundance as much as it is just sufficiency, that there's plenty for everybody. And I want you really to start thinking about what resources you have. And I'm, again, not talking about money, but your heart, your energy, your time, your interest. And I want you to start thinking about how you can start contributing, maybe once a month. It doesn't have to be daily. It doesn't have to be weekly. But fit something into your life that is not only going to make a huge impact on the world, but something that's going to make you a better person and make you feel better about your contribution to this planet. You know, years ago, I wanted to get involved in the whole Thanksgiving feed the homeless thing. And as it turns out, I called three weeks early to this homeless shelter and the lady told me they were booked up, that it was the one day a year that they would get completely booked up and they couldn't, they couldn't take me. So I got sent to another homeless shelter and the lady told me the same thing. After I complained and said, oh my gosh, I just want to help and I, I don't understand what's going on, she encouraged me to call a retirement community. And so I did. And they told me, come on in. We need you. We definitely want you. All of that. And so I did. I showed up and I was all ready to, you know, work on a food line and prepare the food. And I was actually told when I got there, oh no, you're going to be actually feeding somebody. And I freaked out. I, I, I really just sort of died inside because I, I don't know how to feed somebody and I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be good enough and, and how is this going to happen and work and all of that. And I was introduced to this 92 year old man and his wife and given a plate of food. And I, I, I literally, like I said, died a thousand deaths because I really didn't know if I was going to be able to do this. And sure enough, it's, you know, gravy and mashed potatoes and peas and stuff that doesn't make it into the mouth easily. And yet I did it. And I interacted with this couple for hours. In fact, so long that they, they kicked us out of the dining room and the woman asked me if I would go back to their apartment and spend some time with them. And they showed me their wedding pictures and their vacation pictures and their children's pictures and grandchildren. And as I left there that day, after having the most incredible time, I broke down in my car because I realized I had family waiting for me. I had friends that had opened their homes to me and these people that had been married for umpteen gazillion years and had family and grandchildren. They had nowhere to go and no one to visit them. And it was right then and there that I knew what I was meant to do on this planet. I knew that it was about helping where I could and it may not have been about money but it was about my heart and my interest and my time. I want you guys to think about what it is that lights your heart on fire. What is it that, that piques your interest? What is it that you love? Is it children? Is it animals? Maybe it's building. You know, you might be somebody who's incredibly skilled with your hands and maybe working for Habitat for Humanity once a month is something that you can contribute. Maybe it has to do with tutoring a child. Wherever your heart lights up, that's where your interest, your energy, and your resources should go. I'd also encourage you to look at what absolutely angers you and frustrates you to no end. What is it that you look at and feel absolute disgust for in terms of the blind eye that's turned by society or the, you know, unfairness of the situation? I want you to think about that because where your energy and your emotion is, that's where the magic lies. And I want you to think about what can you give? What can you do differently to start really making a difference. Every one of us are leaving a footprint on this planet and you need to think about what it is that the world's going to learn from your footprint. 
And so I encourage you to start looking at your heart and deciding what it is that lights it up or, or you know, ticks it off. I mean, whatever that looks like to you. And I want you to start thinking about what is it I'm good at, where can I contribute? There's a great website that I encourage you to look at that is called Get Your Good On. And it's getyourgoodon.org or com or one of those, I can't remember anymore. But anyway, Get Your Good On and it's Get Your, why you, I'm sorry, Get Your is you are, Get Your Good On. And there's over 100 ideas on there about things that you can do to make a difference. And they've even got links to your own community so you can figure out where can I start contributing. Guys, there's no limit to what we can do and there's no cap on how much good we can do. And what I want you to start recognizing is that there isn't going to be someone else that takes care of these things. It's gotta be about you. It's gotta be about me. And in this darkened room, it only takes one match. One match lit, which will light up the entire room. And that's what I want you and I to be, is that match. So I encourage you, get in touch with me. Let me know what works. I want you to keep doing that selfless, spontaneous thing every day for one person, every day. But I want you to add one more thing to your list, and that's reaching out in your own communities and doing something, one thing. You can reach me, by the way, at on Twitter at host Jen Elise, and you can look in the comments below as to how to spell that, host Jen Elise at Twitter, and you can also email me. I'd love to hear from you what works, what communities are doing great things. Tell me what's going on. I, I'll, I'll highlight it, and I will do my best to make sure we get more people knowing about it. But you can email me at jenniferelise at ymail.com. Don't forget, we've got great things coming at you every day, and we want you to be sure you're following us. So like and subscribe to Equality TV, and stick around because every week we're going to have something that inspires you to make a difference in your world and to leave this incredible legacy for people that follow. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See ya.